We're in for a soaker today. Again? Thursday. Uh, yeah, it hasn't rained in like two, three weeks. So we've been pretty good. And next week looks beautiful. As long as we don't turn into London, I'm okay. It's all good. It's all good. All right, so it is Thursday. We're going back to the Gospel of Mark. And we're in chapter 10, verses 32 to 34. And I think this is the second passion prediction. I think. Pretty sure. Jesus took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. And this is our to ponder piece. And this is by Ariane Braithwaite Len in her writing Ash and Starlight. A minor melody marks our cadence, yet you tune many ears for more than that. Resurrection is always the final number. And this is the reflection. It's entitled The End. And they all lived happily ever after. True love's kiss broke the curse. Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. The end. Every story contains settings, characters, conflict, dialogue, a beginning and an ending. But the beginnings and endings are what we tend to remember about good books, good movies, good stories in general. And at the end of the very best stories, the ones that stay with us, all the messy and complicated plot points are woven together in one giant and satisfying resolution. Some stories are better when we know the ending, but most of the time we say, no spoilers please, to friends who have already seen the movie or read the book. We want to be surprised. God is a story and we are a part of it. God loves us so much that God gave away the ending to give us hope during the hard parts. We and the disciples are let in on the secret. Life comes after death, and joy comes after suffering. And in every chapter, Jesus walks the road ahead of us and with us, so that at every twist and turn, we are never alone. I just want to let that hang there for a I was thinking, I was thinking. That's... Well, you know, it was funny because I was just watching this morning, it it popped up in my feed somehow. The end to that goofy movie on Netflix with Will Farrell and Rachel McAdams. It was Eurovision. Yeah. The story yeah, yeah, of yeah. Fire Saga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, y you know, I, I don't know. Maybe you'll see it. Maybe you won't. We got to the end of it. And in the end, they're all back in Iceland. And no matter what greatness they all had, everybody's yelling, Sing ya ya ding dong! Sing ya ya ding dong! Which, you know, is just kind of their town song, their country yeah. song, or whatever yeah. it is. And, but, but it, it has that happy ending to it. And, and I think, having seen that this morning, this hit me all the closer to where mm -hmm. I was this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I, as I was reading this, John, and, and it said, we and the disciples are let in on a secret. Life comes after death and joy comes after suffering. And I like the way they said that, that we're let in on a secret. So it's not that we get some reward that others don't get. It's that, it's that we spend a lot of time asking the question, why do these bad things happen? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and we never get an answer, and I'm not sure that we, we have an answer to that. Um, bad things happen in life, and there are good times, and there are bad times. Um, as a scripture writer writes, you know, there's a mm -hmm. season for every matter under heaven. Yep. Right, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to weep, a time for joy. Um, we don't know. Even that scripture doesn't tell us why. Mm -hmm. 
But what we do know is that life comes after death, but joy comes after suffering. And I think that that is the hope that we kind of hang on to. Yeah, and I think to that sort of last part of, of hanging on to it, it's a wholly different thing to get to the end of something and figure it out versus what we get here, where it's not like in the moments of our lives we get to the end of it and you go, up. Oh, there's it's three. not the sixth sense, oh, right? Yeah, you, there's no... <laughs> God purposely sets this up for us that in the midst of all of it, we can go back to Scripture and get that reminder that there's joy at the end of whatever we're going through, that there is life after death, that it's not, it's not a shock or surprise to us, which... I mean, it's the incredibly compassionate thing to do. Of God doesn't have to set that up in that way. Jesus doesn't have to let the disciples in on the secret, doesn't have to let us in on the secret. Although I kind of take a little umbrage with the fact that it's a secret. <laughs> but it, it really moves the relationship. It is a relational way of, of, of sharing that information of, it's not like, you know, from my perspective as a parent, you know, you let your, you know, letting Quinn explore places and tumble and fall and, and learn lessons because you can't protect them from everything. You have to let them sort of figure things out on their own. God doesn't do that. God doesn't say, well, get to the end and we'll see if you're right or get to the end of this, you know, trial and tribulation and see if something good comes out of it. God doesn't do that, mm -hmm. which... I think just reminds us yet again of how precious we are. That God would spoil the ultimate secret of this world and the next while yeah. we're going through it. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Resurrection. Yeah. You know. It, it, I, I've, I loved how they shared that with us. That it's we, we get to turn to that over and over and over again mm -hmm. and not wonder, God, where are you? It's, it's here. It's right there mm -hmm. in the midst of it, at the beginning of it, at the mm -hmm. end of it. It is always there for us to, to cling to. And I, think, and I think along the way, I don't know if this is the right way to think about it, but I I play with the idea of little resurrections along the way. Mm -hmm. You know, the ultimate resurrection, we know. But I think there are little resurrections along the way. Um, you know, the vaccine coming out is a little resurrection for us. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think when there is a, a healing, there's a little resurrection. I think when new relationships after a broken one are discovered and a couple engages in it. It's a little resurrection after the heartache of maybe a previous one. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are little resurrections along the way um, that are just, that are not promised the resurrection is promised. These are not promised, but I, I do believe they're little glimpses. And they're always yeah. there in some form or another. But good stuff. Yeah. I think you're I think you're spot on there. Yeah. Well that's I mean that's true to our inbreaking of the kingdom. We it 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 shakes us up. Already, not yet. Yeah, it's it's there. We just don't yeah. have both feet there yet. Yeah, that's right. All right, let me pray us out. Lord of life, preserve and protect us when struggles and disasters strike. Amen. Amen. We will see you on Friday. Take care.